Probably a big tusky or something. Yes! New ground, sussed it out, looked on the chart. This week it's time to head back into shore to hide out for another blow. After waking up to this amazing sunrise, it's time to navigate the reef pass and be on our way. At high tide, all that water just comes over the reef and yep. it's also coming in the channel, so it's not concentrated. Yeah. Low tide, it's, all that water is trapped and in there. And it's outside. just like draining a big swimming yeah. pool. So. It's always such a nice sail back from the reef to Pancake. Anything forward of the beam, that's the best for us. In light winds, yeah, really nice. Just means you can go in flatter conditions, less wind. Whereas if we were going downwind now, we'd probably only be doing like four knots. Very enjoyable sailing right now. Good end to the reef. It's always nice to leave on a high note and not wait too long and let it get too rough out yeah, there. Yeah, you definitely so. don't want to milk it. You no. Want, <laughs> if I'm milking it before and we just got smashed, yeah. You, you regretfully leave on a high note and it's just, yeah. just, you just end up feeling so good. Yeah. Shortly after dropping the anchor, Michael loaded the tender determined to make the most of the calm conditions. What are you chasing today, Mark? I don't know, hopefully a big tusky or something. Maybe a bark sheet trout, but it's just all new ground here, so. We shall see. I knew this would be the last chance to explore before the wind came up and completely destroyed the visibility. It was about three metres at best and made for some spooky diving. Seeing this tusky on my first drop in some amazing country was really promising, but I wanted to hold out for something really special. It was this big mackerel's lucky day. As the current started to increase, I knew I only had a few more dives before the viz completely closed out. It was a bit of a Hail Mary on some dives not knowing if I was going to land on any reef at all. Fortunately, I landed right on the edge, right on top of this monster black spot tusk fish. Straight through the ice. Oh, yum. <laughs> How good. I don't know what, both through both eyes. How good is that? Oh. Oh, no. Nah. Headache. Huh? Headache. You? The fish. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> eye sore. That That's is a so beast. good. Any more down there? I don't know. Do another drift, have a look. I was looking at the ground. It's crazy back here. Ouch. What's your PV? Oh, 11 inch. Oh, yes! That's what we came here for. New ground, sussed it out, looked on the chart. Very nice. Oh, so stoked with that. Came out here, looking, looking, scouring, finding new ground, you know. 
just all on our own, just did, just had a look around and persevered in the deep, dirty water. Seen a massive Spanish and it just looked like good country. Um, and look at that beautiful black spot. Oh, I got to the bottom and he just came up past me and I was like, you're joking. Just a big blue bus. Such a good fish. <laughs> What's the ground like down there? Just like big boulders, sandy, shells all over the bottom. Like you can see it now, all the shells is coming out of his bum. These are my favorite eating fish probably in the whole ocean. Like they just eat crabs and crustaceans and shells. All so, the yummy stuff. So they just eat all the yummy stuff. And look at that. Like that is just such a beautiful fish. For all things. Oh. Your gun's not in the boat, don't drop that. Shame that I blew both his eyes out. Because <laughs> they got such nice eyes as well. They're a reef fish, but they, you do get them on the coast a lot. You know, like in that... Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the size of it! That is so Literally. good! That was a fear in the rescue. Oh man, look at the mess I made. Look at all the shells he's been eating. What's this, the 30 litre rescue? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh man, I've made a mess. Yeah. Should we just go in? I'm happy to go in, I don't care. That's a huge fish. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish to deal with. Yeah. I'm happy. It's just so tempting to dive again. This ground back here is looking good too, north of those marks. Beautiful. Oh, how good. <laughs> good problem to have. Look at that! Look at the tail! Oh, that is so good. Hey, so we were gonna go, why'd you shoot parrotfish? They protect the reef. Not a parrotfish, tuskfish, totally different. So they call them, they call them tuskfish because obviously of their teeth. Ooh. Um, see those big blue chompers there? Just tusks like big elephant tusks sort of crunching down the big shells. They've got these little, it's almost like a pig's tusk on the side too. I think that's probably where they get it from. Like the, the big pig hooks on the side. But So the, the, the parrotfish eat all the moss on the reef. So they help like protect the health of the reef. Keep it so, clean, keep yeah, it down breathing south, and Down eating. south, like we'll shoot them. They're really delicious and there's not really any reef for them to protect. Yeah, these tuskies just eat crabs and crustaceans and they're just... They don't have that function on the reef. They don't have that function. And they, the they're beautiful fish, but they are so delicious. And, <laughs> you know, your beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Every fish we shoot is beautiful, I reckon. Oh, Look at that. Isn't that... Oh, I love all fish equally. <laughs> I love shooting all fish equally. <laughs> I don't know, should I do another drift? Maybe. Do one more drift, have a look. It was great to explore some new ground and get some marks for next time, but with full freezes, we had to call it a day. Oh. So you just weighed it, 9.4 kilos. I almost cracked the 10 on this one, but uh, what a fish, like. They are just absolutely stunning. You get this little, you get these like a uh, Maori, kind of Maori wrasse pattern in the fins there. Same as the dorsal and like, yeah, big. Yeah, they call him Pac-Man, nicknamed Pac-Man, as you can see from the head there. Just epic. What an afternoon. They're not fun to fill it. That's the one thing. They are super slimy, but, it's the price you pay. That is a gigantic <laughs> slab of tusk fish. Gigantic slimy fillet. It's so nice though. It's just like, almost like lobster. But you look at the stomach here. That's a stomach. Look at all this stuff that lives in there. Lives in there? Well, all the stuff it eats, ready? <laughs> just eating shells and like pippy, like probably eats pippies and all the yummy stuff that we like to collect. Look at that. And that's like a solid piece of shell. Like you'd smash, you break your teeth trying to eat that stuff. 
oysters, all that stuff. Look at that. Just all hard shell. Whoa, that's huge. That that's oyster is an oyster. Like, it's actually just crushed an oyster open and swallowed the shell as well. Not even ate the meat, just like whatever. Speaking of oysters. Yeah, there's oysters here too. Oh, geez, we're going to eat well this week. Where are you off to? Miguel? Oh, we got a, my bra. We've got a, uh, we've got a container full of tusk fish. And I cut the wings off. Normally I love eating the wings, but they're literally out of space. They are huge. It's like a splayed out chook. So whoever turns their nose up at that. It's like a four person feed there. Yeah. So can't waste it. I'm gonna go go up to uh, Bella Vida and see if they want it. And try and gift the frame for a crab pot and trap for someone. Yeah. It goes all the way back there. Yeah. As you can see, the current is absolutely pumping through here. All these little bait fish are just hiding under the boat. With a few days to kill in the windy weather, we walked up to the lighthouse. Definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. It has some amazing views from the top and you can even get a tour of the place for $10. So you cross, when you come into the beach, there's a national park sign. You walk straight past that and you'll see like buckets and there's people that just put all sorts of random stuff up. And then you cross this salty marsh. And if you cross, you'll see like a path coming out the other side and then that's all signed the rest of the way, so. If you can find that signed area to start with, it's a bit better because it's a shorter path. Desolate <laughs> backdrop, isn't it? Look at those two kangaroos on the beach there. So cool. It's windy out there. Sailboat boat coming in. Oh wow. Next episode on Sailing Papau. So there is definitely a reason I've been putting this off. A last minute weather update sends us rushing back to the reef for another fix. And as usual, it does not disappoint. A huge thanks to our current patrons and welcome on board SV Spirit, Ditto and Tara.